Alrighty, your boys the Axis, and we're here playing Outer Plane. Um, obviously, it's a, a newer game. I think it came out a month ago. Um, I just started playing this game, and it's not Nikkei, of course. I don't think it has any like real connections to Nikkei, but it is a pretty interesting game. And obviously, it's a game I've been enjoying for the last maybe like ten hours, <laughs> really. Um, and you guys do want to see more videos on this channel that are different games right i guess not mainstream games like star rail but i know some of you guys say you want to see games like this azure lane some of these other cool games so if you like games like these definitely let me know i'm not gonna have like these types of videos here like every day but i'll have these here and there as we already had some right now like i said this is a brand new game um not a brand new game like it's a month old so like i don't know if you ought to consider it do but it's a pretty interesting game it's a fun game i want to say it plays like epic 7 in terms of the actual gameplay in terms of what there is to do it might be the exact same as epic 7 i tried playing epic 7 multiple times i just couldn't get past the first or not i couldn't get past it but i just couldn't stay past the like first or second chapter it just got boring for me real quick um but i don't know i feel like because this game is 3d it has more life to it i don't know that's just me but if we actually go here to um where i am right now chapter six you can increase your level up very quickly i am a complete free to play on this account i am very free to play i did re-roll i ended up re-rolling because there was a character they wanted me to re-roll for and that was valentine right um she is one of the best characters in the game actually both of these two um from my knowledge of the game are the best characters in the game right uh now i think that's their name noah i don't know how you say her name but her and valentine are like i said the best characters in the game so i ended up re-rolling for them um but yeah i like the game i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay combat whatever you want to call it uh pretty nice pretty nice this is my team a bit underpowered obviously that way i'm gonna be best in one day less than a day uh i did re-roll before reset which is at eight o'clock est but the graphics in the game are quite nice right no, you guys are gonna see here. It's gonna be an auto button. The graphics in the game are very nice. Let me lower this just in case. Right, so she's buffing her up for damage. This is the ultimate right here, right? For uh, now, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Right, it's an ultimate. They have chain attacks, they have different skills, different angles for skills. So this is also an ultimate as well. Boom, 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 and then boom, boom, boom. Um, but like I said, they have different angles and stuff like that when you use a burst skill. So this is just an additional attack from um, her kit, right? I can't really explain much to you guys. I don't know much about the game, but in terms of just visual gameplay and stuff like that, it is pretty cool. I mean, let me show you guys what it looks like manually, right? Maybe that'll give you guys a better feel of the game, right? To understand what I'm talking about. So they also have like that Epic 7 feel where you can kind of like combo attacks within the regular basic attack or skill. So for example, if a character like knocks up Let's say Valentine like does an uppercut to this guy and he goes flying, right? There's characters who could connect the combo from when they're up in the air and then like bring them back down and then people could follow up and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, right? Um, let me use, you know, Dolly's ultimate here. All right, so her ultimate is pretty cool. The graphics are cr like quite nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite nice. Um, probably one of the better ones I will have seen, to be honest. Right, this is her burst skill, or I guess it is called a burst skill too. I don't know. Okay, um, my voice is supposed to be Japanese. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, why is it half English, half Japanese? I just took that in. Right, well, for example, that, and then if a somebody, let's say somebody followed up with a, an upper, okay, we died there. But if somebody followed up with like an uppercut move, then it would connect. Now we have these, the AP pots, not AP pots, the wrong game. The AP points, right? I don't know what they're called. I think they're called, I don't know what the AP stands for. I know P stands for points. I think attack points actually, right? And then when you have a certain amount, you can um, give them a different burst level. So I want to say as that FGO vibe as well, I think, right? Epic 7 FGO vibe, you click on it. Now you get an extra effect when you use this skill. And there's three different ones, of course. And then boom, and then you can keep going, right? It'll go up. Now I can do this one, reduce the cooldown, right? Of my ultimate, which is one more turn. So I use it. Now next turn, when it's her turn, I have my ultimate again, um, right? Which is nice. She always has the additional attack when her
I think it's called Kaisers are like stacked up or something like that, right? But yeah, you can see the game's quite interesting, quite cool in terms of gameplay. Um, let me show you what else the game has to offer, right? This is not a sponsor, by the way, just in case you're wondering, right? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, they have cool characters, right? I can't really do a summon for you guys. I mean, let me see. Can I do a summon for you guys? I cannot. I don't have no currency for you guys. But yeah, they have two banners. I'm Eternal and Veronica, right? Very. This girl's also a very broken character who I'm aiming for right now. One thing I do like about this game, though, is, for example, Pity, right? They have these limited banners and then normal banner. The normal banner summons actually go into the Pity, right? Which is just 20 multis, which is average for these types of games. But if you summon 20 multis on this banner, which is the regular banner, it will count towards your pity for limited characters, which is very, very cool, right? I've never seen a gotcha game do that, where they include the normal recruit for limited pity, right? I know Nikki has the same feature where normal and limited banners have pity, but it's two different pities. On this one, you summon here, you could build a pity to go buy one of the characters. So it's pretty cool there right you summon on any banner you're building up pity regardless as if if it transfers and stuff like that i assume so i don't know um but yeah you go to adventures there's more stuff to do obviously side story like any other other of these games challenges is where most of your farming will be so you have the tower here um I'm not gonna do it because i can't beat it we have gear farming here and then like just general food gold and like upgrade materials here but it is one of those games as well where you can only do it like a certain amount of times a day so i think it's only four times a day you could buy it twice and you only have a total of four you do get daily extra rewards but you can only farm bandit chase four times a day bounty hunter four times a day um upgrade stone retrieval four times a day right as in for gear and the tower you can do it how much ever times you want as long as you can beat it and you have the stamina uh, but for these ones on the left here, you can. Arena is um, one of the arena systems where it's like you're fighting a bot, but it's still very interesting, right? Um, it's, I want to say like Black Clover has this type of arena too, Epic 7. I think Epic 7 is real time though, I'm not sure. Um, definitely let me know. But this one is definitely not real time, right? Yeah, so you fight them. It could be quite difficult, but my team is a, a broken team, I guess you could say. Um, I messed up there actually. I was not meant to use that skill, so I actually uh, I'm just gonna auto here. I messed up there. I was supposed to use a different skill, but it was fine. It's fine. Right, I think Dolly and stuff. Right, okay. Well, we still do a lot of damage, right? But yeah, here are some other cool animations from other cool characters. Right, boom. Right, very very nice. Very very nice. I think it's a game that will you know do fine i know it made like a million i think or two million or three million one of the millions uh on their first month i think which is not bad right for a brand new game that was not really talked about actually a follower on twitter recommended me this game after i said i quit black clover mobile just because i got shafted 24 multis in a row which is just so silly um to be honest but um do i lose i don't think i do so here we go this is like a healing thing with a shield pretty cool right gameplay is always nice right arena is like one of those things where you could play yourself or watch your auto and chat them on while it's on auto i don't really need to do that right now because my team is meant to like kind of just destroy early on pvp i am early on i'm silver which is not crazy um and yeah like i said i don't have good gear or anything like that but it is a very very fun game it is a very very fun game right i think so that is outer planes as if what else there is to do in the game don't really know right um because i'm it's again i've only been playing for less than a day at least on this account um i did reroll so it's not something i could really tell you all that i know they have events like for example the reaper and the gangster event is currently going on they have ranked challenges right this way has a feature like this where depending on how much damage you do you get rewards back and then they also have a story a normal and hard mode like any other cool game right and like i think nikki have this obviously as well this one seems like it lasts for a long time though um all the way until the 27th and this girl's banner came out like on the fifth so when they come out on the seventh so it's a 20 day event which is quite long right because when you finish it then you finish it but it is still an okay game i do like it 
going to be a side game. Free to play completely. I'm not going to spend on no game that's not Nikkei anymore. Um, that's just how it's going to be because none of these games are doing anything for me besides Nikkei, realistically. So there's that. But yeah, the game's pretty enjoyable. Zokabe, if you play global server, you want to add me by all means. Um, there's info, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty cool game. Let me know if you play and let me know if there's any other games you want me to test out because I am going to try all these games you guys recommend me. So yeah, it's your boy Zexus. I'm out. Peace.